I got two of them. I'm going to... Yeah, as you can tell by the scruff on my face, but uh, I've been here a week. The, uh, it looked like the offense was a lot crisper today than it did uh, in June. Would you agree with that? Is that fair to say? Yeah, for the way. Uh, one of the advantages of, of reporting early allows you to, uh, at least the quarterbacks and the guys in the rookies who do the uh, injured guys, then kind of get a step ahead. And a lot of that, um, you know, plays into how today's practice goes. Quarterbacks feel more comfortable, so they can help things with all the direct things around. And I think uh, that's pretty evident. How long? Were you in, you know, Mankin says that if you make the work and talk for everything was so hard and so on, were you guys given an update at all, statistically, about your doing? No. How do you feel with you? Uh, I got a lot of work, you know, still. Uh, just trying to get better each day, you know, I think. If it was an all right start, um, this is still working on things. I got another practice today, so I'm excited about that. It was one of the days, and I was going to be a little long, and then for like 15 hours a day, I don't know. That's three years in, uh, how different is the fun and the uh, offensive guys? As far as it. It's incredibly different, just, you know, especially with the line. Um, it's in the veteran guys, I mean, they get a sense of who you are, it's a person better. I think one of the best things Coach McGinn has done is he's helped that team become more cohesive. Uh, as a group, you know, knowing each other, knowing the back of the field, so when you come on the field, you understand what's at stake for each play. How has he done that for you? Uh, I think it's kind of uh, one of the biggest things is just giving us opportunities to, you know, spend time really hang out together, but also, uh, you know, making sure by questioning us about our teammates, you know, if, if, how well we know them. A pretty good long time for a chance to be a starter for the last time. The conference this is your year. You know, I, I'm not going to speculate at this point, but my biggest thing right now is I'm more confident in how I'm playing, how I feel now. You know, my body feels great. It's the best I've ever felt in the camp. Um, yeah, for sure, we with the offense. So, I just got to, you know, shoot me all some good practices and get us ready for the first preseason. I'm going to get some good practices. I guess I'm looking back at you coming into camp even for the first time. It wasn't that way as a rookie. It wasn't that way last year. We both talked about that. You know, it, it's funny, uh, and you guys talk about the little you know, competition, right? but, you know, really, you can't think about those sorts of things. I think as a, as a player, you know, there's always competition. You know, whether uh, teams want to admit it or not, the quarterback has a couple of bad games, all of a sudden, the whole season, the guys go ahead, so there's always competition. But our thing is, I think if everyone just tries to focus on themselves, to be able to play the best they can, be the best they can, you know, if things are going to take care of themselves. You know, guys got a plan for each and every one of us on this team. Uh, you know, right now we're just trying to focus on our individual technique, fundamentals, trying to get better and better as a team each day. How hands around is man doing with you? That's a good question. No, I mean, uh, it, it's, you know, he's hands on obviously with our you know, team uh, in general, and you know, we'll talk and I'll ask him different questions just about coverage, defensive uh, schemes, and that sort of thing. You know, but again, you know, the guys I work with are you know, Coach Smith, and Tater, and uh, you know, Coach David. Yeah, it was tough at that point. Uh, you know, again, I think at any point in time when you're, you're not able to play or not playing, you kind of feel helpless and you wish you're out there to help out your teammates and your friends uh, on the field. So that was unfortunate. But again, I think we're using that not as motivation to take into the season. Uh, you said you feel better physically coming things than you have before the um, well, you know, I think at the point at which I you know, was injured, um, I was able to kind of sit back and you know, look at how I prepared myself for camp four and throughout the offseason, et cetera. And I think I put together a you know, better game plan, per se, when going into the offseason and the training camp. And, uh, I mean, and really, uh, I think just the experience of you know, having it two years ago, now I kind of feel more comfortable with you know, things here at the facility and, and, and just the resources outside of the facility. Great, I'm sure they haven't given you a hard day as far as one of the decisions. Have they given you some sense that over time to how long this may have been? No, and, and again, no, that's not our focus right now. We have probably some five, three, five, some years in the 20, uh, and that's all. I'm sorry for that. All right, guys. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.